This is the time of year a lot of us are hunting for savings, but just because you see a sale doesn't mean you're actually getting a good deal. The December issue of Shop Smart Magazine has some tips on how you can avoid getting duped. Sue Perry, deputy editor of Shop Smart, joins us this morning to talk more about it. Sue, good morning to you. Good morning. All right, so let's go shopping, you shall right, we? Right. Okay, so I go to the store, I see a sign for a retail price, then I see a markdown. Right. Sale or no sale? Well, it's no sale if that retailer has based that uh, discounted price on an inflated price. And I'm going to give you an example of what I mean. Kohl's. We sent our shoppers out. Kohl's had a, a coffee maker for $69.99. That was their original price. They marked it down to $61.99, $8 off. But we checked the manufacturer's suggested retail price. It was $59.99. And you That's think no right sale. there that, you would, that, right. that, that you're saving $8. Right. That's not happening. Right. Okay. You're not. And, and, and you ever see those infomercials on TV and right. you think, well, wait a minute, how in the world are you getting so yeah. much for yeah. such a little right. price? How right. are retailers doing right. that? How are they doing that? Because they inflate the, um, the shipping and handling. So you think it's 1999. Everything's 1999 when yeah. you buy it on TV, you yeah. know, those late night infomercials. Well, we have one where there was a garden tool that they were selling. So this garden tool was 1999. Okay, great. So you get to check out, you're buying it online, you get to the checkout and you look at the shipping and handling fees. It was all, it was over $56 by the time you checked out. So don't click that button because you're going to be paying a lot of money for that $19.99. And the total that came up there was $56.80, not the discount that you thought you were getting. Exactly. Now this is where it no gets discount. tricky. Right. When, when you're trying to figure out or you're yep. trying to negotiate with something like a car. Yes. Uh, you say even when you think you've negotiated a low price, you've probably already paid too much. Well, it's the advertised special. When you see a car or a mattress or some kind of a big ticket item, even an appliance, uh, as an advertised special price. If you pay that price, you're probably not getting the discount that you should. Because on those items, the manufacturer or the retailers expect you to negotiate. Always on a car, haggle. Always on a mattress, haggle. Even on appliances, haggle. We did a poll with our readers and we found that 7 out of 10 readers who haggle usually get a good deal. And on appliances, like a big ticket uh, item like appliances, they reported that they got $100 off on average. That's no small change. Let's talk about a liquidation sale here for just a yeah. second. I was at Circuit City when right. we started going oh, out of were, business. Yes. I was in Virginia last year, actually. And right. you, would think you would think that with an out of business sale, you're going to get the best discount. Absolutely. And the lines are running around the Snaking, building. Snaking, yes. You say not so much. Not so much. We have done we have done research on liquidation sales. Typically, it is no sale. It is no bargain because on the Circuit City, for example, we looked at that as well. And the and the weekend that they were going out of business, that they went belly up, they were going to be advertising this. Uh, it was a an HP computer for 159 bucks. When you got to the liquidation sale, guess how much it was? How much? 259 bucks. Why? Why? Because they knew they had all these people in. They're all looking for bargains. They inflate the uh, they inflate the price. Typically, at a going out of business sale, you're not really getting a sale. And on top of it, you try to t you can't take it back. Right. Because, There's no place to no. They're shutting it down. No. There's nowhere to go. It's not really a good idea. Is there any benefit to going at the last minute of a liquidation sale? Typically, what they do is they drop the prices down as they get closer to the absolute last day, but. The selection is gone. You could go, you could try, but again, you do have to worry. You, if, you, if there's something wrong with that product, if you're only you know paying a teeny little bit of money for it, okay, maybe you don't care. But if you're paying $259 for a computer, you want it to work. So to all the holiday shoppers out there, I, there are a lot of folks in my family and your family, I'm sure too, that are doing it right now. If there's one message that you had to give to them about finding a sale, getting a deal, what would that message Comparison be? Comparison shop. Line? Comparison shop, do your homework, know what the prices are, know what a good deal is, and if you're not a shopper, if you really don't know, go on a price comparison site like uh, pricegrabber.com. That gives you everything that you need to know. You type in what you're looking for. It gives you the best deal. The shipping and handling figures it all out for you so you know where to go to get that best deal. There we go. Sue Perry from ShopSmart. Always good to see you. Good and to see I, you. I think we should hold up that deal where we go shopping together. I, I want could to. use you. All yeah, right. We'll do that next all time, right. okay? okay? Sue, good to see you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.